everyone, this is Kiss by Kiss channel. Today I'm gonna show you the results of the Tower Club Part 2 of 2 test. So let's get started. The spec of the computer used in the test are live on the left side. And this time I conduct Tower Club Part 2 of 2 test, which I just mentioned. If you haven't seen the previous videos, AIO Water Cooler Test or Tower Cooler Part 1 and Part 2 of 1, or also you want to see them again, click the link above. As mentioned in the previous video, Part 2 was divided into two parts, Part 2 of 1 and Part 2 of 2. Tower cooler part 2 of 2 was conditioned where the tower cooler was mounted at a direction of a blowing downward. And as you can see, when I tested with 9 different fan settings, I want to find out which setting was the best. Firstly, I'm gonna set up the computer for testing. The summer grassy used for the test, I bought GD900 from the AliExpress. I removed the used thermal grassy and reapplied it after removing the cooler and the cooler was mounted in the direction of blowing downward. The test was doing with a front glass panel. At the time of testing, the room temperature was 24.7 degrees. As you can see, the first test was setting number 1. All six cooling fans are mounted in the intake direction. I was using the ADA 6 for, for the tested program and I used the hardware monitor to measure the CPU and GPU temperatures. Out of test, the six fans were set to do maximum speed mode. The test was progressing about 10 minutes and they record the highest CPU and GPU in 10 minutes. The same test was performed for the remaining 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. All tests took more than 5 hours, but I'm gonna show you in 5 minutes file editing. Anyway, all the tests are finished. Now let's look at the result. In this test, the tower cloth was mounted on the direction of exhausting downwards and setting up 9 different combinations of cooling fans, as you can see from setting 1 to 9. Among them, the best condition was number 8 wow. and number 7. Wow. Number 7 shows 71 degrees of CPU and 69 degrees of GPU. Number 8 shows 69 degrees of CPU and 71 degrees of GPU. The worst condition was number 9 and they show 88 degrees of CPU and 68 degrees of GPU. I think the reason for the best result of number 7 and number 8 are because the cool air from the top of the case was supplied directly to the CPU cooler. Finally, Tower Cooler Part 2 of 2 test was finished. Upcoming video is Tower Cooler Part 3. I'm gonna plan to carry out 9 tests by installing the Tower Cooler on the direction of exhausting front. Also, I plan to quickly edit and upload the last 2 videos, Tower Cooler Part 4 and the final conclusion video. Please subscribe, like, and click the notification bell. And Please leave it on the comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you next time. Bye.